comment to today's video. Uh, today, we're still searching for horses and it's not going well. Everybody is looking for horses, huh? And there's only mares. Yeah, and only mares available. One of our viewers actually sent me her horse and she's selling. It's gorgeous, perfect. Perfect everything except for it's only 15-1 and we want to be really careful about the size of the horse that we get for Sophie because we want it to last her for a really long time and oh, so that's the struggle we've been having like we saw one that the ad said it was like so good and so perfect in the master video and it was so not what she needed that's for sure because of COVID all the horse prices shot up and we know that and that's okay we get that but now for like ten thousand dollars you can get like uh, horses without eyes and mares that need a lot of work and huge confirmation issues and like what you can get now for a modest and for a moderate amount of money is so much different than what it used to be like when we first started buying horses so the search continues and I trust in Brandon. I believe in Brandon. He's working so hard for us, you guys. Like, I, I wish I could explain the beauty that Brandon is. The beauty that Brandon is, is he's just amazing. He does his best for every single person that he knows. Like, he's so accommodating and so kind and so helpful and just so laid back and just such an amazing man. But anyway. We are headed out because it is Easter week and we still don't have any Easter stuff for our children. So we're headed out to get Easter stuff for our kids. And, um, but don't worry you guys, I saved some footage from yesterday's video. It was so long, I cut out the last end of our footage, what we did when we got back to our house. I'm gonna show you guys that now. And then when we get home, I'm going to give you some tragic news, a tragic update, a tragic end to a story so stick around to the end of the video and I will share with you a little update today is the day I'm gonna ride my horse just joking <laughs> I want to ride her today I've been wanting I've been trying to ride her for a week but hi Pam but wait what excuse should I use today <laughs> just kidding so I was ready to ride her today, but now it got really windy. It's really windy. And I said, Gabby, yeah, will you come down to the barber thing? I'm gonna ride my horse. And she said, it's really windy. And that makes me scared. Uh, do you guys remember when, when? Open the door, open the door, open the door. Wait. Open it. Oh, wait, 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 Sophie, the horses are all here. Yeah, so? No, that will scare them. Okay, I'll bring it in. Look, Pen. <laughs> Do you guys remember when Sophie had all those issues with Finn? And she got like scared and then she said, I'm brave and I'm gonna do this. And then we fought to let her get to ride her horse again. And, oh, awesome. and she's just a little girl. She was like nine years old when she got Finny boy. Well, that's me. I'm gonna ride her again really soon. Like it's been bad weather. I'm gonna ride her this weekend if it's warm. It's supposed to get warm again on Monday. Just figured out oh. why my feet stay straight when I walk, but like my right leg turns in. Why? Because I used to ski. That's why. Oh yeah, Gabby used to ski. Yeah, I, w I was you wondering why I was tripping so much and then I realized like I walk with my feet. Are you saying straight. skiing ruined your life? No, I walk with my feet straight, but then sometimes my right leg, like my foot turns in, so then I trip on it and I almost fall. <laughs> Gabby's so random, you guys. So random. Sophie's well, over there know, making her I thing. Realized, yeah. Since I used to ski. Yeah. You had to have your legs straight or else. Yeah. Sometimes life is about figuring things out. But you know what made me laugh so hard when I was edi <laughs> editing Sophie's last riding video? <laughs> if you didn't see it, it was one of my favorite riding videos of life. Sometimes when I edit a video I get like I like it so much that I'll watch certain parts of it over and over and over before I even render it because it makes me so happy and there's a part when Sophie's trying to get over the jump get over the jump and her horse is like I'm not doing this today and Sophie wasn't telling her horse to do it very well but he was not happy about having to jump this jump and Brandon screams out Hey you chit chatters <laughs> and I'm like chit chatters who's chit chatting that means like talkers 
and I look around and in the background of the video is Gabby and Kate and they're just walk they're supposed to be riding in a lesson and they're just walking along side by side chatting it up <laughs> look at Gosh, it was just funny because Gabby is not a chit chatter. Are you a chit chatter, Gabby? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. It was so funny to me, anyways. I really want to get like a hula hoop that the kids can, that all the horses can go through, not just the baby. <laughs> she forgot how to do it. I know. All right, so he is setting up some stuff. <laughs> she just jumped it a minute ago and then I think it was it was lower and then she jumped that one yeah we know who will jump it you think Gracie will jump it almost she was you ducked out so she ducked out on pen I like to I don't like her to be dirty <laughs> She's so good. All right, let's see. <laughs> the, and the <laughs> oh, I missed it. Over. Wow, that dog is fast. That dog wants to do stuff. Come on, Gracie. She wants to play with the pole. She wants to play with the pole. <laughs> Watch my horse, Gracie. <laughs> Gabby, get your pony. All right. Look, she just goes to Gabby when we say her name. That's how smart she is. All right. Look at her though. Like she just knows what's expected of her and just does it. Come on, Penny. Come on. You can do it, Penny. Come on, Penny. <laughs> Like, no. <laughs> She's gonna try and push it. Yay! Look at her face is all covered in. Alright, jump Gracie over it. Look how smart she is though. She's like, but we push it, remember? Come on, you can do it. Yeah, well, Penny's more mature. She doesn't just do things for free, you know. <laughs> Let's play, she says. Oh. Yay! Yeah, now she won't walk through it all the way because that would just be too easy. She'll back out. Oh, she's gonna do it! Yay! See how she's still a little bit sensitive about her back feet? But not really. That little pony follows Sophie everywhere, just like her puppy does. Oh, look, see, she just wants to do it. Let me get your eye clean. Ah, oh, move my horse. This is chaos on the day by day farm. Did you pack the flashlight, the blanket, and the mat? It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at. I'm glad you came for a while, I thought you might be bailing. Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? But a thousand years seem like almost no time now This guitar right here, do you still remember how? I played for you, I was crappy Not you, Molly! Wait, Penny wants to come. Not you, Molly. Uh oh, that's a disaster waiting to happen. She, happen. she can't jump that big. There has to be some kind of sport that Penny would be good at. Well, soccer. soccer. She really likes it. You guys should love to push things. That's mine. All right, there's been a disaster. Oh a catastrophe. Poor Ruby jumped the jump and she turned around and jumped back over the jump because that's what she likes to do. And Molly was jumping at the same time and they crashed. I didn't tell Molly to jump. Molly just jumped. <laughs> and they crashed. She landed right on top. Poor Ruby. Yeah, Ruby flipped over and then screamed. I was cleaning and Penny's feet. Took her by surprise. Everybody's okay. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> 
<laughs> she really wants to do it. Like, Penny didn't ever used to like to go over anything. She's always been so weird about her feet. Molly does not like to sit on here, by the way. She likes to go underneath it. But she's getting confident and brave. And then we have this girl. <laughs> Molly also does not like the pony. Go, pony. You can do it. You can do it, pony, Penny. I've brushed my horse two times today. We've also picked her feet. Like, I love that our horses are all good about we could just come into the arena, pick them up, and, and clean their feet. I love that. It makes me happy. I like to clean their feet as often as possible when it's like muddy season. Just look how cute she looks, though. Look at her hair over her eyes and her ears forward ish. <laughs> well, they're back now. No, oh, Penny. <laughs> Penny's the only ear pinner in the group. Came back, like, watching that video yesterday that we made of Finn and Sophie and, and our friend made edit to say goodbye to Finn. And watching all that footage back really helped me see, like, how much we did with our pony. Like, Finn, my dog we did so much with Finn. Like, he has gone swimming in the lake so many times, and he's gone on so many trail rides. He's gone... <laughs> Camping and he, he was is one of the ones that actually swam. Yeah, he is one of the ones that actually swam and Probably like the only one. Yeah Stella actually swam like Yeah, that. and also like we took him on I didn't video it But we went on like a treacherous trail ride when we went camping with Fiona and it was like if you t take a step to the right, you're gonna fall off a cliff. Like, it was so scary. It was so scary and Sophie rode Finn. Oh, it was great. And you know what was traumatizing? What? Kaylee riding Texas. Why? Texas stepped off the cliff. Yeah, like he would always like go to the edge and step off. Yeah, the cliff. and Finn. Sophia was... and I were screaming like, "Hey!" Yeah, it, w it was Kaylee crazy. Kaylee did not die. She's still alive. No, we all we all lived. Oh, well, except for Stella. Wasn't I? Uh... But we all lived. I was on it's the storm, right? Yeah, oh, I think. I I so punching. my point is that. Like, no, we he was so, Pino. he was so sure-footed, you guys. So sure-footed, like, such a good little pony. He rides like a wiggle worm, and because of that, he can, like, he can, like, turn on a dime almost. Like, he, he is such a good pony, was such a good pony, and, and we did so many things with him. He's done hunters, he's done jumpers, he's done derbies, and he is amazing at all of it. Like, he just, we've done so much with our horses, and it makes me proud, and the I reason... And I swear to God, the only reason our, we've done so much with our horses, and our horses are so friendly and... <laughs> Penny, you're supposed to walk in the pool, but Penny's just pushing it. Oh, now she's got it. Oh, look at her. Get away. Go. Anyway, the only reason we've done so much with our horses and accomplished so much and been successful at so many things and have such amazing horses is because of you guys. Like, it's been you guys driving us and pushing us and like telling us <laughs> what we should do. She does remember, here, let me push this. This, this is what she likes to do. <laughs> but anyways. Thank you. Thank you guys for like so many people that have helped us along this way so far because we knew nothing and in the grand scheme of things we still don't know much but so many of you guys have helped us and said do this and do that and do this and we've done it like we've done so much and makes me proud and it makes me proud to have you guys helping us. I feel like this could end up being bad for us at some point. <laughs> Like, what if she just thinks that she can push everything? She already does. <laughs> she already does. I don't need to go over old and useless words. What she said, what I said, that might have made it worse. We're here again at the same spot where we kissed the first time. I swear my pain is far away long gone by now. What's wrong with the chicken? The chicken was holding something. Holding something in its mouth? Something you guys are so cute! So we are back from shopping and I wanted to tell you guys that our baby chicks are doing great. But I promise to tell you guys the tragedy that has befallen the day by day home and it 
does involve chicken. You guys know that we've been hatching eggs for three weeks and I got these from a friend, these eggs, and we're kind of waiting. Tomorrow is hatch day, but I don't think they're gonna hatch, you guys. What ended up happening was that my friend gave me these eggs, and what you're supposed to do is just go out into your hen house and collect a bunch of eggs and bring them to the warmer. But what my friend did without really realizing was collect the eggs and then put them on a heating pad to keep them warm for two days before I got the chicks. And I was like, I don't know if that was such a good idea because chicken eggs, fertilized eggs don't start to develop until the mom collects them all and then sits on them and warms them. And if you warm them prematurely without the humidity being right, then they don't develop. I've been really worried about the, that being the case with these eggs and they haven't, like when we candled them, we can see where they had started to develop a little, but then it, they didn't seem to progress. Anytime we develop, every, anytime we candled them, we would think we'd see something, but then enough, nothing was ever really clear. And then two days ago, while I was rolling the eggs over for the very last time, a couple of them cracked and there was nothing in them. And I was like, uh, I just knew in my heart then that it was just gonna be a bad situation. I wish that I had not wasted the last three weeks with eggs that were probably not gonna hatch, but we did because it's really hard to not trust. I've thrown out eggs before that actually have had baby chicks in them, so it's a really scary situation and hard to do that, but I am at 99% sure that these eggs aren't gonna hatch and it's really sad and Sylvia and I have been like nurturing these eggs for so long and they're not gonna hatch. But it's okay because we're gonna wait till tomorrow and then we're gonna dispose of them. I did see one egg, one of the little tiny um, silky eggs that did look like maybe it was gonna work. So I don't know. Um, but we're gonna get more eggs. I have another friend that actually knows what she's doing with eggs. And I'm gonna get more eggs and we're gonna do it. Are you sad that they're probably not gonna live, Sophie? Well, we can do it again. So. Yeah, we can do it again, so it's not a big deal, right? Yeah. yeah. So anyway, that is our bad news. Our beautiful Steak. eggs, yeah, because two cracked and a little bit of egg stuff got in the bottom of my incubator and I couldn't clean it because I had to like keep the humidity and the temperature warm for the eggs just been a disaster because you touch them and they explode yeah if you touch them they explode which is just like the sign of a bad egg I've hatched a lot of eggs in the past and I know that that is the reason that they're not working out because you can't heat eggs up unless you have all the situation completely right for them because they start to develop as soon as you start heating them. So anyway, that is it for today's video. We oh, will be back with you tomorrow. Sophie wants to show you something though. Hmm. Favorite chick. We are gonna get more chickens before Easter though. So this little Bella girl, we know it's a girl. You know how you can tell? Cause she does this. <laughs> you wanna see Leo doing that? And we'll show you what a boy does. So this is what, what he does. Typically that's a rooster and typically this is what a hen does, but it's not foolproof But we've also seen other markers Surprise. that have shown us that we think this is a girl and we she, think she's very pecky. We think that that's a boy and that's what we wanted was one girl and one boy he, If you pick her up. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't care But she does kiss Ow. <laughs> It hurts Don't you know that you're beautiful